वेलकम बैक टू इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर प्लस इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस सर्किट ब्रेकर फेलियर प्रोटेक्शन इट्स एब्रीवेशन मोस्टली यूज इन प्रोटेक्शन रिलेज एंड प्रोटेक्शन डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इज सी बी एफ द पीपल हु आर न्यू एट अवर चैनल आर रिक्वेस्टेड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल सो दैट अवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल कम टू यू एट टाइम so let's start in order to explain the cbf protection i take one and half breaker bus bar scheme in one and half breaker bus bar scheme we have two number of buses and in between three breakers okay and in between these three breakers we can connect our two circuits for example transmission lines or transformers okay for simplicity i make each breaker different color so that it could easily easily be differentiated so in order to discuss the cbf protection first we should know what is actually the circuit breaker failure conditions that in these conditions if any of one condition occur to specific breaker its circuit breaker failure protection relay will operate and it will isolate this breaker from all the system so we see these conditions circuit breaker failure conditions there are total five conditions so first condition is problem in trip circuit if a relay give a trip command but due to problem in the trip circuit the circuit breaker does not operate then what happened its circuit breaker failure protection relay will operate and it will isolate the circuit breaker the second failure condition is trip coil faulty now the trip circuit is healthy tripping relay is healthy it give tripping command to circuit breaker but due to coil faulty the circuit breaker does not operate in this case the also the cbf protection will operate and the third failure condition is trip supply fail if the tripping supply guard fail it mean no supply available so our trip coil and our circuit breaker will not operate this is also the circuit breaker failure and cbf relay will operate in this case fourth failure condition is mechanical failure for example if any every uh, everything electrical circuit trip coil dc supply and trip circuit is healthy but due to mechanical failure due to mechanism failure the circuit breaker does not operate this is also the failure condition and the cbf relay will also operate in this condition and the fifth condition which in literature is also called the failure condition is breaker is operated but arc not quenched this is very rare case for example breaker operate but due to quenching media for example sf6 or il or any media or air is not capable of quenching the arc now due to arc the current remain flow in this case this is also the breaker failure condition and the cbf relay will operate in this condition now we come back to our main diagram now we need to check one by one if for example a601 this circuit breaker fail to operate then what happened how this circuit breaker will be isolated by the by its cbf relay it's worth mention here that each circuit breaker has its own circuit breaker failure protection relay for example here we have a601 a602 and up to a609 it mean we have nine separate circuit breaker failure relays which are associated with its own breaker so if 
वन ब्रेकर फेल टू ऑपरेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ दिस ए सिक्स जीरो वन इफ इट फेल टू ऑपरेट वट विल हैपन हाउ इट विल आइसोलेट इट कैन ओनली बी आइसोलेटेड बाई दिस ओके नो सप्लाई शुड कम फ्राम हेयर एंड नो सप्लाई शुड कम फ्राम हेयर सो इन आर्डर टू आइसोलेट इट वी नीड ट्रिपिंग टू दिस साइड एंड ट्रिपिंग टू दिस साइड so what will happen if this circuit breaker fail for example if any five in any of above five conditions any one condition occur it see be a failure will operate and will send tripping command to other associated breaker which i will show you see at this side right side we have a604 and a607 so the cbf relay of a601 will send its tripping command to a604 a607 and to other end a602 and also to the line which is going to remote end so the tripping from here a601 from at local substation will also be extended to remote end station okay now we see the next case of a602 if a602 now fail to operate how it could be isolated from both hand it should be isolated so that no supply remain exist for this purpose the tripping will be extended from a602 cbf relay to line 1 a601 line 2 and a603 and next for a603 the tripping will be extended to both sides so to this side tripping will go to a602 and to line 2 and uh, to the right side tripping will extend to a606 and a609 the similar case would be with this dia but in this case for example if a605 or any breaker this one or the a606 operate the tripping will not be extended to this bay because this is the transformer bay and it's the local bay so to local bay its tripping will not be extended we will see here if it fail to operate it will send tripping command a607 a601 and its relay also send trip command to a605 this arrow showing that if it this bay is the transmission line it the tripping will be extended to this line but if it is not a transmission line it is transformer and it is locally available then tripping will not go here because it's already dead if this breaker if this breaker operate this operate and this operate so it mean is isolated this operate mean this isolated this isolated so no supply remain here in this section so this transformer will will also be isolated the same is the case with this transformer and same is the case with this transfer the, uh, this breaker now see tripping will be extended for a605 failure from its circuit breaker failure delay of a605 to a604 and a606 no need to go to tr1 or tr2 but if uh, remember if its line if its transmission transmission line the tripping will extend to it that's why the arrows are shown similar case with the a606 same a607 a608 and a609 dear friends if you like this discussion of cbf and if you want to know more about the protection schemes and about the substation schemes and uh, the related material uh, please subscribe our channel i will upload more info about this so keep tuned and updated goodbye